everyone and welcome back so I'm finally here to talk about my one of my uh, favorite oil blends facial oil blends and this video is long overdue I apologize for the delay but I do have you know um, a full-time job and other stuff going on so you know this kind of um, time doesn't come by often so for that I have decided that you know whenever I have new sort of blends and uh, recipes and such that I want to share with all of you I'm going to go ahead and put that in my blog so this way you know it's easier for me to sort of um, write the blend and my experience with the blend um, you know rather than make a video about it I will definitely try to make videos as much as I can but I feel like you know for those of you who want the recipes I think that's the quickest method um, of delivery that I can think of at the moment so I today I want to talk about one of my favorites sort of this like packed with antioxidants booster oil blends and um, you know if you go down below that's where you will find the full recipe and I also want to talk about sort of you know why I you know started making my own stuff and um, how I got into you know this um, sort of all natural skincare um, you know regimen and stuff like that so it'll be a little long but hopefully some of you enjoy it and you know some of you have sort of similar views and you know you share them in the comments below for you know others to know and stuff like that um, so this is just um, a simple oil blend well it's not simple it's a little complicated but I want you to keep in mind that if you're starting off you don't need to have so many oils right um, you probably won't um, I you know it's you can start with something very very small and use it for a few days and few weeks and uh, see how you like it and if you stick with it then go ahead and invest the money uh, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying every single oil that's in this blend and then you know you try it out you don't like it and then that's all that money just you know wasted so when I first started off, obviously I didn't have such complicated or like, you know, such uh, robust blends. I would literally have one carrier oil. I used to use um, Argan a lot because I have very dry skin. Rosehip is good if you want um, sort of a dry oil that you can wear during the day uh, and, you know, so you won't look so greasy. And I would just put in like few different types of essential oils. Uh, some of my favorites were... Um, a carrot seed oil which has been a favorite for a very very long time it's a little pricey but it's well worth your money it has lots and lots of benefits and um, then your basic ones like um, I used to use lemon sometimes to like lay in um, scarring and um, tea tree for my you know acne purposes and um, uh, I think uh, I used to use um, what do you call that um, which one is it um, frankincense and myrrh uh, those are kind of like my favorite and they still are they have been for a very very long time um, so yeah that's that um, in this particular it's a one ounce bottle and I have one tablespoon of hazelnut oil which is also a dry oil um, I have one tablespoon of um, rosehip seed oil dry oil I have one tablespoon of sunflower seed oil which is a little more moisturizing so for the third part where I use the sunflower seed oil if you have sort of oily to combo skin go with like jojoba oil um you know something that's less moisturizing sunflower oil is a little more moisturizing and I have dry skin that's why I use it if I had organ on hand I would probably have used organ so you know you uh, carrier oils you can choose of your um, you know depending on your skin type uh, rosehip is just good for everyone I think in general um, it's it's a you know it's a it's a nice dry oil so it won't give you like a lot of that oily film that you're looking for and this oil particularly has a tons of ex antioxidants and it's very good for your skin uh, it's uh, it has a yellow tinge to it uh, I don't know if I can show this on the camera here but that's because I have calendula extract in here as well as um, turmeric essential oils and both of them are pigmented and I also have sea buckthorn extract so those are all sort of like yellow pigmented oils but you know it's not like it's gonna tint your skin or anything but just do know that what I do is I just take a few drops it has a really nice sort of a earthy herbal scent I'm not sure if any of you are fans of it but I like it 
a little bit of floral because of the geranium in it um, because you know carrot seed oil doesn't have the most pleasant scent so I kind of had to find something to like counteract it um, but you know I take a few drops and then I just sort of pat it into my skin in the morning I can wear it under makeup no problems at all um, in the evening I like to sort of uh, take it and use it as a booster oil so I'll take uh, one drop full of it and then um, mix it with just plain argan oil or plain marula oil and apply it or if I have a moisturizer I'll you know add a few drops of the moisturizer and apply it so it's it's you know it's like a booster oil you can use it on its own you could add it to other things and make it your own it is amazing I love it I've been using it for a very um, long time I think um, I created this blend like several months back and it lasts you a very very long time I'm not even halfway through um, and the ingredients did cost a little bit, um, I won't lie, and the hauls that I have posted previously on this channel have the ingredients in it, but for me it's well worth it because I use them for other stuff as well. So yeah, um, definitely go check out the recipe, it is great. Uh, and remember that you don't have to have all of this to get started. You can just have one simple carrier oil, few different essential oils, blend them together, try using them, and see how it works out for you. Um, so in this particular blend, I'm just going to give you a list of the oils and the measurements and stuff you can find um, in the blog. So I have, uh, like I said, the rosehip, hazelnut, sunflower as the carrier. Then I have pomegranate seed extract. I have calendula extract. And I have seed buckthorn extract. Then I also added turmeric uh, essential oil, carrot seed essential oil, geranium essential oil, myrrh essential oil, and frankincense essential oil. And now that we're done talking about uh, my lovely oil blend, I just kind of wanted to share sort of uh, my story about how and why I got into this and for the past decade or so I've literally spent so much money on the mass mar marketed brands out there anytime a new brand came on in Sephora and it was skincare I was just like it's so innovative you know it has wonderful ingredients and you could start to sort of uh, you know read about all of their studies and stuff and then I would spend money on it and you know uh, some products I liked in the beginning and then my skin got used to them. Some products I just didn't like from the, you know, get-go. And it's just, I was spending a lot of money and it was uh, disappointing me at the end. And I felt like I wasn't getting the results that I would be happy with. And not that I have any sort of major skin issues or anything, uh, you know, but it was, it became almost like, sort of an addiction like unhealthy like anytime you know something new came along or I saw a video on YouTube about the most um, you know new serum that came out that would literally be like hundred dollars or so I would be like I need to have this and it was just it was not a good experience for me and then all of a sudden you know I started to sort of um, you know see that a lot of the stuff out there is mainly all marketing right and um, you know the products that you are paying for have super high sort of um, markup and they're actually not worth that much and uh, I, I just couldn't sort of understand why you know the industry was the way it was and that's why I was like you know what I'm just going to see what I can do I'm going to start using more simpler products simple ingredients and see if I can make them on my own it was not an easy process when I got started of course because I had to sort of um, you know slowly start getting rid of all the mass marketed stuff that I had and kind of um, stop trying to get new stuff. Every time a new serum came out or every time a new line was released that was supposed to be like amazing and give, give great results and such. So that was hard. And one thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to natural products and oils and such is that you're not going to see instant results. You will see results after a few weeks uh, and over time you, as more you use it. Uh, the better your skin will look and feel but it's not going to show up overnight and that's discouraging for some people I think so you know that was another hurdle for me to pass is that I constantly had to tell myself that no this is actually good for me this is going to show results and you know 
this is going to be effective over time. I just have to sort of stick to it. And, um, you know, it was, it was hard in the beginning, but then I, whatever, I got past it. And sort of like um, in the beauty world, experimentation is something that happens often, which, uh, you know, my one of my last videos was about the Care West, Care West, I still can't pronounce it, a foundation, which gave me a horrible, horrible sort of um, um, break out spur here and you can probably see the scarring and I know that one of the main reasons was because that has coconut oil uh, in its base and coconut oil is highly comedogenic and I know some people can tolerate it but I know that in the past every time I've used any coconut product coconut oil based products they have made me break out so you know even with the makeup I'm trying to sort of even if it's super 100% natural I'm trying to be careful I try to I I've learned my lesson that I'm going to I want to do more research before I go ahead and buy it because those products are expensive and then in the long run it becomes a total waste um, I'm trying to get to a point where I would need very little bit of makeup which I think I thought my skin was at that point before I bought the um, that foundation and now I'm kind of disappointed that I have to like go through the whole process of healing this and then getting rid of the scars and such, but um, so far it has been good for me. I oil cleanse um, as my cleanser and I used to do that and then I stopped for a little bit and then I just started about like two weeks ago because of this whole breakout nonsense and um, it's been working out really well. So, you know, I definitely want to share my oil cleansing blend as well and all that stuff, but the, all that stuff, I think I'm going to put it on the blog before I make a video about it. Only because um, I think it's more helpful for you guys that way. You know, this way you can just go and see if there's a particular blend you want to check out. Or, you know, if you have any questions, you can ask me directly on there. And it'll be easier for me to address. Whereas in making videos, it's a little bit hard because of, you know, my lifestyle. I have work, I have family, and, you know, other obligations and such. So, um you know videos become a little bit harder my life is a little hectic so this takes energy and time and yeah but my goal through this video is to sort of um, you know tell you guys that I'm here um, if you have any questions you can always ask me below the video you can always ask me on the blog um, I will definitely try to go ahead and post more blends and such but simpler the better i promise you just have to stick with it um if you start with a simple oil cleansing and then just a, a you know one sort of a oil blend as your moisturizer then you'll be good to go there are you know home based moisturizers that you can make which i will try to sort of um, tell you guys about um but you know simple starts is where you know everything happens does that even make sense i don't know it's kind of late at night but i wanted to get this video out because i've been promising for a long time and yeah um so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you go ahead and check out the uh, recipe for the blend it is amazing i love it uh but again you don't need to have all of it right a uh, majority of my essential oils and extracts i get from two places one is mountain rose herbs and the other is eden botanicals um, I've done hauls on both. They are really good sources. They have organic uh, products and, um, you know, I, I, I just trust them. And uh, nowadays I feel like this whole essential oil boom is happening and I don't trust all the brands out there, um, you know, especially for like, you know, skincare, uh, body care purposes, you know, aromatherapy is a different story. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.